Hello, my name is Corey Toombs, and this is a tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace. Today I'm going to show you how to use variables to track the X and Y of the player and of events. So here's the player, and I'm going to track using a parallel process the X and Y variables. So we'll go to control variable and we need to make some new variables. We'll call this player X X and that's going to be for game data and uh, the players the player map X so control variable one player x is equal to player maps x and let's copy that paste now we're going to make that for the y so variable two is going to be player y and it's going to be game data and you just need to change that to the y so now this parallel process is checking the players X and Y using variables. Now I'm going to make an event here. Um, let's make a hexagram. Uh, white. And we're going to put this below the character. And we're going, I'm going to make this a parallel process and through. Now you're, you could use player touch or event touch to do what I'm doing but I'm going to show you how to use variables to make this hexagram transport the player back to the beginning of this map. There's many reasons why you might want to do this um, so I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to call this Hexagram. And, and now we're going to track. We need to make more variables. And I can call this Hexagram X is equal to game data character and I called it hexagram and copy this edit this so that you you need to make a hexagram Y and make that equal to the game data So now I'm tracking both the player and the hexagram. Okay. And I'm going to make another parallel process with a conditional branch. Where's conditional branches? And this is going to check the variable of, um, so we're going to check that player X is equal to variable hexagram X. Um, I don't need to check if they don't apply. So if player X is equal to hexagram X and if player Y is equal to hexagram Y. So this is essentially if the X and Y uh, both of these things are equal this is going to happen transfer player here and down and let's play test project one is a great project <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da new game um, 
I think that was from my last project. So I should just be able to walk on here. Oh, look at that. It happened instantaneously once my character was in the same place. I didn't use player touch. I didn't use event touch. Okay. Now, how is this useful? Well, let's delete this. So now I'm going to make another hexagram. And let's make this one red. And we're going to apparel process and below through. And I'm going to call this hexagram to. Let's make this move very fast. And approach. So this hexagram is going to follow the character around. Um, now what I want to do is have this red hexagram. When it touches the white hexagram, I'm going to have both of them disappear. So I'm going to make another variable. And you need to make... Let's call this red x is equal to game data of character hexagram twos x and paste and I'm going to make a red y. That is equal to hexagram twos y. So now I'm tracking the uh, first hexagram and the sex second hexagram's map positions. And I'm no longer going to do that with a player. Now you can use the parallel process to check the position of two events. And you're going to make a parallel process over here and you're going to make a conditional branch and just like before you're going to check the variable but we're not checking the player we're going to check the events is equal to red x if they're equal nothing's going to happen if they're not equal unless you want something to happen if they're not equal and we're going to have hexagram y equal to red y. And what was I saying I was going to do with them? Um, let's make them disappear. So if they're equal, put um, control switch. And all oh, these are all from... The previous tutorial I made, which is why I had that save file. Um, let's just call this hexagram. And so that, so when those, when the X of those and the Y's of those are equal, that's going to turn on a control switch. And so on each one of these, you're going to make a new page. If, if those are on, they're gone. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, we're not going to continue. I wonder what would happen if I continued. So this hexagram is following me around. Haha, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it's changing colors. So if you don't want it to do that, you need to put direction fix on it. So so th so these two hexagrams please touch each other. There we go. So those two hexagrams touched each other and the control switch made both of those events disappear. So this tutorial shows you how to use X and Y variables to track the player and events to do some different things. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.